Hi, this is uh, Dennis. We're having a look at communication between indoor and outdoor systems on a split unit. And uh, we're using the REFCO uh, communication uh, flow checker, which is part of a uh, combination tool that checks inverter output, and we've done that on a previous video. Now, communication uh, connections for this device require a uh, connection from the uh, red probe onto the transmission uh, wire and from the black probe onto the ground reference. I've also put a voltmeter between those connections as well so we can have a look at what's going on. Now currently communications here are normal. Uh, we can see on the left that the light is blinking at a particular speed and uh, light intensity. We can also see on the uh, voltmeter that we're getting a fluctuating AC voltage and we're also getting a fluctuating DC voltage. Most uh, communications, although this is not always set in stone, uh, begin from the outdoor unit. The outdoor unit sends out an oscillation, a repetitive waveform, which the indoor unit uses as part of communication protocol. Each uh, indoor and outdoor system has a transmission and receive circuit, and they basically compile and decompile this waveform to come out with commands. And those commands could be things like compressor start, reversing valve, fan speeds, and so forth. Now, when we uh, look at uh, communications, typically manufacturers will have specific uh, best practice test methods, and may I also please mention that uh, it's always best to use any information for a brand from the manufacturer's service and or training information. Here we could have a look and uh, simply distinguish that this green light is indicating communication is occurring between indoor and outdoor. But what is it really telling us? It has a left uh, blinking arrow, it also has a right blinking arrow, and sometimes they blink together, although I haven't seen this as yet. Uh, an arrow blinking for communications really is not completely conclusive. It's simply telling us that something is going on. I can sort of equate that to an EM field tester, which is known as a volt stick under another brand, which picks up magnetic uh, electric fields and lets you know that uh, something is there in terms of a voltage. Of course, a red light doesn't tell you how much or what it is. It's simply a guide. And I think it's best that we should look at that as simply being a guide. The uh, speed at which the light flashes and its intensity may change according to data flow. If there isn't any lights, it's uh, fairly obvious that there wouldn't be anything going on. What I am going to do is I'm going to create a communication failure. I'm going to switch off and disconnect power, and then I'm going to remove the indoor unit's communication wire, disconnecting it from the outdoor system. So I'll remove the plug safely, and I will now disconnect the indoor system communication wire. I'll reconnect power. Now you might notice something's changed. The light here is not blinking with the same speed or the same intensity. We still know that the outdoor unit is putting out communication. And we know this because this is a fully functional unit. What you would normally expect would have to come from obviously known quantities. And again, I suppose that the best way to evaluate this would be to test it against uh, many different types of brand air conditioners so that you'd have a comparison to see what would be normal for those. In this case, we can see that there's been a difference, but we do have an establishment that the outdoor board is putting out some sort of signature. If we have a look back at the voltmeter, we can see that the AC signal seems to have collapsed a bit. Not much going on there. Yet the DC signal is sort of really static around 44, 45 odd volts. It's sort of floating a bit, but it's around that. Now I know from experience with this particular type that that indicates that it's working okay. And that information obviously has to come from the manufacturer as well. But that's not going to be the same for every unit. So how should we interpret this information? Well, I think we can see that something has definitely changed. And we can also see that there is something going on with a, an existing outdoor unit. It should also be noted that uh, our indoor systems may not be putting out any data and uh, if you simply check the indoor unit on its own, you may not receive anything from it. So I would certainly recommend doing it from the outdoor system here. However, I'd say that that's a fairly conclusive test on its own and a guide that uh, something might need to be looked at. Of course, realistically, what you're looking for would be obviously a presence of no communication and no lights. 
Um, and I think, again, uh, just to uh, be uh, complete here, it should really be established against something which is known to be right. So if you are working on an air conditioner, it would be a good idea to see how it works under normal circumstances as an evaluation. Now, again, whenever you do any sort of work, uh, I always recommend live testing as the uh, uh, last thing to do. I also recommend that uh, risk assessments and good job safety analysis be done before working on anything which could create risk for yourself. Thank you very much for having a look at this, and uh, I'll see you again in another video.